What's up everyone, Chris here with Archipelago. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the brush panel and how to use it to go from this to this. Let's jump in. Now first off, let's go ahead and open our brush panel. What you're going to see are a lot of familiar tools, especially those from the basic panel. The key difference is that the brush tool acts as a mask, which will allow you to only affect specific areas of the image you choose to. And for today's purposes, we want to use this to achieve a dark and moody look. Now the first thing you want to decide is how you want to affect the image. I know I want to darken the entire landscape without affecting the exposure of the couple too much. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my exposure down here. Obviously that's not going to affect the image yet since we haven't made any brush strokes. Let's do like negative 1.55. That looks good. Okay. Next thing we're going to want to adjust the size of our brush right now. It's really tiny. I want to bring that up substantially. So yeah, as you can see here, you can either adjust it on this lower half of the panel, or if you have a scroll wheel, you can use that as well. All right. So let's go pretty big right around here. All right. Make sure auto mask is turned off and then let's start brushing. What I'm trying to do here is to create a vignette without really touching the couple as a first step. So let's do that. And you notice I won't really be able to get under here. There's not enough room. So I can just go ahead and zoom out, make my brush a little smaller, and then get in that area in the bottom here. Looking pretty good. A few more. I'm gonna get a little bit closer to them. Yeah, right around there. All right, that's looking great so far. So as you can see here with the brushing I've done so far, I've really started to bring out the detail in the clouds and just overall starting to get that really dramatic look. So the next step, I'm gonna zoom back in here. I'm gonna make my brush smaller, in fact, substantially smaller. And then I'm gonna start brushing in closer and closer towards the couple, okay? Still while trying not to put the brush directly on them. Like this, perfect. Okay, and then even smaller. Now the next thing I want to do here is make sure to remove any excess mask that might be bleeding over into the couple. Okay. So a quick way to check where your mask is at, hover over your little dot here and you'll see, you can see your entire mask. Now on the right hand side of the gentleman here, it looks like there's just a little bit too much bleeding over. So I want to get rid of that. So what you can do, select your eraser down here. Okay. And make sure that auto mask is turned on and we are going to make our brush here nice and small, and then we're gonna to start to erase. Now make sure to readjust the size of the brush too for smaller shapes like his head up here. That's looking pretty good actually. Now the last thing I wanna do here is to make sure that the transition between the affected part of the image and the unaffected part of the image is nice and smooth and somewhat feathered. We don't want a hard line. That will make it look really unrealistic. So we're actually gonna hover over a little dot here again and see where we're at. And it's looking pretty good. That's right around where I would want it. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and let's erase a little bit more actually, right on the edge here. Just like that and bring it around over her as well. Okay, right about there is good. Now I'm gonna switch back to my brush A, give it a click, okay. And I want this to be nice and small and I'm actually gonna turn my flow down, okay. It's gonna make sure that we're not doing the full effect just within one brush stroke. So start dragging that along the edge here. And this is gonna help me achieve that natural look All right, I think I'm pretty happy with it. Now, the final thing I wanna do here is to fine tune my settings exactly where I want them. So now we can go ahead and play with our exposure, see exactly where we want it. I really want this to come across as natural and have it not look like I manipulated the photo. So let's go for right around there. That's looking good. And then another thing as well is I want more of a diffused look. One little cool trick you can do to achieve this is pull your clarity down a little bit and this will soften that entire background. Yeah, that's looking great. Yeah, overall, I'm really happy with it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the before and after.
Thank you for tuning in, everyone. I hope this video was helpful and informative. This is Chris signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.